Crocodile is the third episode of Black Mirror Season 4, which is a somewhat gripping multi-narrative thriller, yet ultimately a bit of an uneven episode. Here we go. Crocodile is set in an unnamed country but bears a striking resemblance to Iceland, and the plot is divided into two separate intertwining narratives. And the first follows this girl called Mia, who's played by Andrea Riseborough. Uh, first we see her and her boyfriend Rob coming home from an all-night rave in a car, and they accidentally hit a biker and kill him. And because they've got so much alcohol and drugs in their system, Rob believes that he will go to prison for this. So he convinces Mia to basically get rid of the body, throw it in a river, and pretend like this whole thing never happened. 15 years go by, and now Mia is a mother, a wife, and she's also a successful architect. But when Rob comes back to town with guilt on his conscience, she meets him at this hotel, and he reveals that he wants to tell the police exactly what happened to alleviate some of his guilt. But then Mia panics because she doesn't want to like jeopardize the life that she's built for herself. And in this panic, she then kills him. The second plot follows this insurance broker called Shazia, who's played by Kieran Sawar. And she uses a machine called a recaller to access people's memories in order to corroborate their stories for their insurance claims so they can be then paid out. And when a driverless pizza delivery truck hits a pedestrian, this starts her on a trail of witnesses, which eventually leads her to Mia. Crocodile is probably the bleakest episode of season four. It's one of those episodes that's just completely devoid of hope or optimism. It's another episode showing humanity at its worst. The Icelandic landscape perfectly instills that feeling of unforgiving coldness and emotional isolation, which really works for a sort of murder spree type story. Crocodile was certainly a harrowing episode of Black Mirror, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites. My main issue with this episode was that I couldn't buy into the idea of Mia going on this murder spree. I get it if she's the metaphorical crocodile that this episode's title is referring to, that she has basically crocodile tears and she's cold-blooded and whatnot. But each time she killed someone, she did seem to show a lot of remorse, which doesn't really align with the idea of being a crocodile. Andrea Riseborough gives a stellar performance, but her character's actions just feel so drastic and contrived. If Charlie Brooker Wonder shows the worst of humanity, then he has succeeded, because Crocodile does have plenty of dark what-the-fuck moments. But Mia goes as far as murdering a baby, an action which just doesn't seem plausible when she is a mother herself even if she is trying to protect herself and her family, it doesn't add up. I think what happened with this episode is that Charlie Brooker was sort of overcompensating for the fact that so many of his recent episodes have had happy endings with like USS Callister and Hang the DJ and San Junipero, and he needed to give us something that was incredibly bleak and remind us of how devastating this show can be. So yeah, he just sort of like went the full nine yards of Crocodile, made it as bleak and as dark as possible. But the actions and the motivations of Mia don't quite add up. It's just an episode of us watching a very sympathetic character making really stupid and illogical choices. And the technology used in this episode, the recaller, wasn't really at the center of the episode, it was just more there as a plot device to keep things moving forward and to catch Mia out. Charlie Brooker doesn't really explore this idea in much sense of depth because it is a cool concept, the idea of seeing our memories on a screen. And yeah, this episode does touch upon how memories can be warped when we see uh, eyewitnesses retelling of how the events unfolded and there's a bit where a jacket turns from green to yellow. So yeah, memories can be sort of forged and fake, and it would have been cool to see how this episode would have explored that if someone could have tricked the machine, like Mia. But yeah, like I said, the technology in this episode doesn't really give the audience too much to think about. I did think the ending was quite powerful. The fact that Mia was willing to murder a blind baby, but was foiled by a fucking hamster. That's very Black Mirror. Kieran Sawar also gives a beautifully understated performance as Shazia. She's a character that is really likable, and you really care for her well-being. So when her path overlaps with Mia, you feel really uneasy watching their interactions because you just want it to be okay. So guys, to conclude, Crocodile did leave me quite hollow and devastated, which I do usually like about Black Mirror episodes. That really says something about me as a person. But still, the ideas presented in this episode and the narrative didn't quite gel together for me. Some interesting ideas, excellent performances, and a great use of the setting but the script wasn't as finely tuned as it should have been, which is a bit odd considering this is Charlie Brooker. But if I can't buy into the idea of the main character becoming a serial killer, then it just makes the whole murder spree seem very implausible and contrived. It's like all this episode wants to do is shock you, but there's no substance to it. So guys, for me, Crocodile gets a score of five out of 10. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to check out my other episode of Black Mirror Reviews. And if you do like these videos, please do hit that subscribe button, all right? For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Hiffield, and I'll see you next time.